Hey, what is up, YouTube, and welcome back to another video. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be taking a look at the t Transformers Prime Voyager class, Beast Hunters Voyager class Bradikin. And this guy's alright. I mean, I do like him. He does have some problems, but then again, that might just be because I got again, I got him second hand, so some of his joints are a little bit worn. But overall, he's a pretty nice figure, and he does look nice displayed on his shelf. So I've started him off in his beast mode, and it's pretty nice. Um, you've got some options of how you want to have him. Um, you can open, it, open and close his mouth. His head is rubber. He does have some rubber parts. His head is pretty much all rubber. Um, the claws are rubber. And I think that's it. <laughs> I don't know why I made it sound like there's lots of rubber on him. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and his robot mode head is rubber. Um, you've got these side bits, which you have the option of having folded out or folded away. It's up to you. And he does have these wings, which are very nice. They do have some Cybertronian writing on them, which is pretty cool. And you can just display them how you want. They're on a like hinge here, and then they've got a hinge there and a hinge there. So they're fairly poseable. Um, how I have them on my shelf to um, uh, make it easier for space, I have them folded in at that hinge there and then fold out at that hinge and then that still gives them a fairly impressive wingspan without taking up too much space and yeah he's alright I mean you can kinda of see the robot motor feet just hanging out there as you come along got the tail these bits which are the robot mode knees you can just kinda of see the chest there and then he's got um, this which is brilliant weapon storage and if you look at him from the bottom you can kind of see a robot mode, kind of, you can see the chest. But other than that, it's pretty well concealed if you ask me. Um, as for accessories, he comes with the two of these little dragon head things, which comes with two of them, like I said. And you can fit them together if you want for um, a kind of synchronised thing. And basically, these are missile things, missile firing heads. And then basically you put it in there, and then once it's fully extended, the missile will fire. Which is pretty cool. And there, nicely detailed. Focus camera, thank you. Got a little mouth. You can open and close. Done in silver, but it's, most, it's mostly orange plastic. But this part of the head is painted in silver. That's very nice. And then, like I said, there's two of them. And what you can do, there's pegs here on Predaking, and these little... Well, there's holes on predicating and pegs on the heads, and what you can do is you can peg these on. I like to have, you can um, display it how you want, but I like to have these bits facing out. So just peg that on. And then you can have a kind of free head of King Ghidorah, like dragon mode, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah. So you can have that on the go. Well, I just like to leave these off to the side because you know you didn't have them in the show. So, and the head sculpt is pretty nice. He's got some silver on the eyebrows. His eyes are painted. And they, I don't know how well the camera is picking that up, but he does have. Um, try turning a light on, perhaps. Oh, that kind of helps. As you can see, he's got yellow on the eyes there. Oh, God, knocked him. He's got some orange on the head. Got some gold at the back here. And the lower mouth part is um, just done in that kind of grey pa um, plastic. But overall, it's fairly nicely detailed. And my mind's kind of worn, because again, like I said, I got the second hand. And you can move this part of the head separately and then move these bits separately as well. And the rest of the figures are very nicely detailed. Got some gold on the back there for the legs. There's a lot of orange on this guy. He's mainly primarily orange and black. Moving on, as you can see. Then there's another look at those um, Cybertronian symbols. You can kind of see that it is a kind of glossy orange plastic with some nice mechanical detail on it. And yeah, now. Um, for articulation, the head, like I said, can move up and down there, and you can move this. The mouth can open and close. There is a joint 
there at the neck so he can move his head up and down he can then swivel there um, his legs can rotate they're basically arms because they are arms can do a full 360 they can move out that far can swivel there got around just under 9 screws a bend at the elbow and then the feet are on a ball joint I believe and then you can move the claws around as you wish down to the midsection you can kind of wiggle it a little bit um, like I said the wings can go up and down hinge there hinge there um, in terms of the back legs they can move in and out they can can do a full 360 yes they can and then they have a bend there and then the toes can kind of wiggle around and the tail can wiggle a little bit and that's pretty much it for your articulation so now for size comparisons here he is with Studio Series Voyager Prime get his wings tucked in so as you can see he's so it comes up to about Prime's waist if you don't include his wings so there you go there he is with Prime Here he is with Siege Megatron. Here he is with full Cybertron um, Deluxe Class Jazz. If he stands up. There we go. And here he is with Earthrise Deluxe Hoist. So that gives you an idea of the scale with the Deluxe. And here he is with one of the small guys from Transformers Prime. I think they're Cyberverse. I think that's the name of the wave. I can't remember. But as you can see, I think that scale is pretty good, actually. And this guy's a nice figure as well. Just pretty saying that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this guy's Beast Mode or Dragon Mode or whatever the hell you want to call it. So, yeah, let's um, transform him. King in his um, robot mode, and it's very nice. I mean, again, um, due to I think it's because it's second hand, the legs are a little bit loose on mine, the knees are a little bit wobbly, but overall, it's a really nice figure. Uh, I'm just going to quickly quick take a look at the details. The head, I'm going to turn the torch on again because that helps highlight the detail I can find. The head is very nicely detailed. I, I don't think it's very show accurate, I haven't, well it's been a while since I've seen Transformers Prime, so I can't really remember, um, but it's very nicely detailed. His eyes are painted in, and the face is done in that silver with a little orange horn there. He has a Predacon symbol there. Lots of lovely mould detail on the chest, and there is actually a kind of dragon head mode, if you want. You can bring this out, fold that back in, then you've got a kind of dragon head, if that's what you want to do. Um, it doesn't actually look that bad, to be fair, but, you know, it's up to you, it's your toy. Just fold that back in. And something to note in the transformation, when you bring this in, there's these slots here, which line up with the little rubber bits and on the um, beast mode head. And the problem is they can kind of get a bit stuck, um, so you just got to be careful when lining it up, and they should all fit through there nicely. 
But yeah, he's um it's lovely detailing. He's got um orange paint down the chest, um some gold paint on the crotch. This the thighs they are the thighs aren't they? Again, I'm not very really smart on anatomy, so um come down here, um they're done in um that grey plastic again. Got these knee pads which you can angle however you want. Come down to the legs, he's got um Cybertronian writing down there and some gold paint and then the feet are sculpted at a slant so he stands with a, his legs slightly apart and then coming looking at the back these are the uh, mode feet sorry about that cut my phone decided to die on me <laughs> um, so yeah they're the rear beast mode feet and then coming at the back it's fairly clean um, again you do have this piece which is where the tail clipped in and the wings I like to fold them in like this but you can um, have them up oh, and there goes the wing it is a bit difficult to get them posed due to the shoulders um, I believe in the box that he comes with them splayed out but why does this always have to happen when I'm filming um, and yeah you can have them only going to do the one wing you can have them sticking out like that or down at the back there but I like personally like to have them folded back. It does kind of hinder articulation. Um, but all you have to really do to get that articulation back is just move them out of the way. And he's everything's going wrong now. So um, yeah, and then with the shoulders you can have these bits folded out if you want. And the arms are nicely detailed as well with then the claws. Just gonna turn the light off now. So, as for weaponry, stand, this is the problem with the knees on mine, he doesn't like to stand, there we go. With the weaponry, you can take these Dragon Head uh, missile launchers again, and they've also got the tab there, and then there's a um, hole on the shoulder, and as you can see, this is like kind of sculpted in a way, so that it fits over his hand, so all you really need to do is just take it, plug it in, and it should fit over the hand fairly nicely and I think that looks alright but again I have him displayed in beast mode and even if he was in robot mode I'll just probably have these off to the side ah. sorry about that um, then for his other weapon he comes with this sword which is nicely detailed it's just all mould and black plastic with gold at the end and Oh, I can imagine the box I've got my phone propped on. Um, and then basically it's got these two tabs either side, which will tab into that little hole there. And the one problem is this, he doesn't have clearance on his other hand, on the other side of his hand, so it just kind of sits there and you have to have his hand open, and it doesn't even tab in securely because the hands are rubber. So I just leave this off to the side. It's pretty useless. You, the only real storage for it, um, for it in this mode is you just... Um, tab it up there and then you just have it sticking up above his head which some people might like but personally I don't really like it so I just have that off to the side now for articulation the head is on a hinge there so it can go up and down and then it can it's on a um, mushroom peg so the whole neck can rotate the arms can move back that uh, will move forward that far back that far again, the wings do kind of hinder it, but as you can imagine, get a little bit more articulation if you move them out of the way. Um, you have a rotation there, oh, and the arms move out, rotation there again, just under 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Um, hands are on a ball joint again, so they can swivel and move up and down, they can open quite a lot because obviously they were the front beast mode um, feet. He does have a waist swivel, which again is a little bit limited due to the wings and also due to this um, connecting his crotch, well his butt, and his upper body together, so you can't really get a swivel. Unfortunately, unless you untab this back bit. Legs can move forward that far, back that far, out that far, they do have a swivel. Um, just under 9 degrees of bend at the um, leg again and the toes can move up and down and so can the heels so 
yeah, well, that's pretty much it for um, this figure. I mean, oh, size comparisons. I almost forgot again. Here he is with Studio Series Prime. And as you can see, Prime is j just a smidge bit taller than him, which obviously isn't accurate, but again, this is just a Voyager, and there are bigger Predaking figures. It's just this one was available, and I picked him up, because he was nice and cheap. I think I got him for um, 10 quid, I think. So, I thought that was a pretty good deal. So. Here he is with Megaton. Again, actually, no, I think he's, a, if you include his back backpack thing here, I'm not including his wings, um, but if you include his little backpack, he's a little bit taller than Megatron, which is interesting. Or is he? Yeah, I think, actually, I think he might be the same size. I don't know. But either way, they're a very similar size. Here he is with Jazz. As you can see, Jazz is deluxe. He's Voyager. Jazz is going to be smaller. Here he is with Hoist. And again, Hoist is, comes up to her, just under to the bottom of his shoulder, his elbow. So, yeah. there you go. And once again, here he is with the small Transformers Prime Megatron. And that's, I don't think that's the scale. I feel like Megatron should come up to his midsection. But still, it's the best scale you're going to get. So, yeah. So, overall, I really like this figure. Um, if you wanted a Predator King and you don't really want to get the big, um, with the, I can't remember what's called, but the really big Predator King, um, this is a really good figure. He looks great in both modes, and as a display piece, he's alright. Um, obviously, the sword is a right pain in the arse, and these can be a bit annoying because they do fire off quite a lot. But overall, if you if you exclude those problems, I think it's a very nice figure. I think the only reason these are weak on it is because it's second hand. And I'm going to be honest, I really like it. So, yes, I would recommend this figure to anyone who wants a Transformers Prime Predaking. So, yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you're new and you want to watch more terrible content like this, please subscribe. And check out my other reviews. And um, i am figured out how to enable comments now. So, if you've got any advice or um, anything you'd like me to improve... Um, please leave a comment. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video